Yeah, so it's a, it's a rainy day here. Um, and I was looking for something to do. And I had this pile of old uh, fence boards, redwood fence boards that are all kind of worn out and aged. And so I got this idea of making birdhouses out of it. And so I'm on my workbench here, I started making birdhouses. So I've got like the, this A-frame one, then there's this one, these two here, kind of a tall one. They're kind of rustic looking here. And another one here, different shapes, kind of going with the type of wood I'm working with. <clears throat> and the, the bigger one here is still has some, I was working with glue too, trying to keep the pieces together. But this, this one here is a plant, has a planter in the middle. And it has two birdhouses on the ends. You see the other one on this side. And so that'll, I think that'll work out pretty good. Put some plants in there and then have a birdhouse on the side. So I'm going to make another one here and kind of have you join in and watch what I do. Okay, I wanted to show you some of the tools I'm using. I have a, a jigsaw here that I'm using with a wood, wood cutting blade. I cut a couple of drills. And this, that uh, bit there is for making holes. Recommend a two and a, um, two and a quarter inch hole uh, for a birdhouse, that usually is the recommended size. Um, and I have some glue and some plans that I don't really use, but it gives me ideas. Um, and I have a, some sanding sandpaper, uh, the circular one there, and then some other sandpaper, and um, miter saw, and a uh, corner that I the edge that I so I can make straight cuts and I have a ruler and tape measures over here some nails so and I got a couple of hammers up here um, so all those tools I've been using um, I use uh, finish nails the ones with a small little top on them so they kind of get hidden when you pound them in. Then I, I've got my board here and I got another one that I picked out. So the first thing I do is cut off the uh, ends that are rotted. So then I have the better wood left in the middle. <clears throat> and with these kind of the, the more worn out they look, the better the birdhouse is going to come out. You just kind of have to work around the imperfections of the wood. So I'm gonna start making some cuts here. And I don't really have a plan. I have an idea of what I'm gonna make, but I'm gonna kinda of go with it. Um, so I'm gonna use my jigsaw here and make the first cut. that piece because I'm going to need about six of these. So I'm going to use that piece to cut the next one. So I'm just going to keep cutting those and I'll get back to you. Okay, so I'm done with much of the cutting. I've got these, these are about, 
can see they're about they're four inch but they measure about three and three quarter inch wide and they're uh, a little less than an inch thick three quarter inch thick but I've made uh, three four five six seven, eight, nine, three four five seven I think there's 10, is that how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten of the boards uh, that are nine inch um, long. And then I made six, six of them that are, um, well, these are nine inch long. These are a little over 11 inches long. So, so now I'm ready to start uh, putting it together and uh, see if it see if it works. I'll get back to you uh, as I keep going. Okay, so so here we are uh, moving along. Here I started putting some of the boards together, and this is going to be the base of the birdhouse. I've got two of the shorter ones and then two of the longer ones here. Then I'm putting the bottom boards baseboards in here. So I already put one in there, I'm going to put another one. And these have a little chip on there, it has a knot hole there. And that's kind of good so we get some air and drainage in there. So that kind of works out good for the, the birds. And now I'm going to nail these on the sides here so, and to hold these in place. And then also on this side, put a couple nails there, a couple one at least one on each one of those and then two on the back here and one on there and one on there and uh, then I'll start on the next part so on this next part I ended up just making another box just like this one and you can see that I put in finished nails there's couple there and then some on the sides and so I made these two boxes and the way that's going to work is I'm going to put these like this one inverted on top of the other one and then I'm going to build the final one on the top here and I'll show you how that's going to come out so it's, it's coming right along looks pretty good so far so we'll and what I'm going to do to connect these two is I'm going to put some drill some holes in here and on the other side other one there and put some wooden dowels in there like one two three four five six seven eight of them in here and then drill a similar hole in the top one and then glue them together so that these two pieces, these two boxes will hold together. Okay, so I went ahead and <clears throat> was able to attach the two trays that I made by using the uh, wooden pegs. Let's see, I'm trying to turn it around here so I can show you. I think you could see see one there. There's a, another one there. So they're 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 holding these two pieces together. And, and I had a thought that <clears throat> I was thinking of putting two uh, holes here for the birds to enter, and then there are little perches right here, little pieces of dowel coming out. <clears throat> but I would I was thinking about gluing the the, the uh, pegs so that these would be permanently together. But I decided not to because it holds fairly fairly well. And in the case where I had to clean this out, if there was nests in there that needed to be removed, I could pry this apart without having to take this apart and clean it out, then push it back together. <clears throat> so I decided to do that. Uh, then I went ahead and put this piece together the top part and um, I'm gonna this one I'm gonna permanently mount and I think I'm gonna do either nail it on there or 
do screw it in, maybe countersink some screws into here or it's so that it will stay on there permanently. But this, the, the first two levels can be re, uh, separated for cleaning. <clears throat> so um, then what this top part's gonna be is a living roof. So we could put um, plants in here or maybe succulents or something and have the, the vines hang down on the sides of the birdhouse. So it would be kind of something, give it a, a different look. So I'll, uh, I'll keep going here and get back to you. Okay, I attached the top, top section. I, I went ahead and pulled this apart so you can see the the pegs there in the holes. So that's how I can attach the, the bottom section to this, which is the actual birdhouse area inside of here. Um, then I went ahead and did some, screwed in the top part permanently, so it'll be screwed in there. So that, that part is attached to this. So the, what I wanted to do now is I was gonna drill the uh, the two bird holes, one, one there and one there. So I'm gonna get ready to do that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and drill that. I have this uh, hole, hole drill that kind of is graduated, but I'm gonna take it all the way up to the top of that to get the maximum size. So I was kind of glad that I didn't glue that on so I could drill that hole. Otherwise it would have been filled up with uh, sawdust in there. Um, and the last part is to put the little perches on there. I'm just gonna drill a hole right underneath. I'm going to tap that in there. perches on there. So I'm just going to put it back together and I'll get back to you and show you the final part. Okay, so I was able to finish that up. I put the bottom back on. Just pounded the sections back together so the pegs are holding it. And then I put a few plants in the top just to kind of show what I was thinking about it. So we have a two-hole birdhouse with a living roof. 
and I'll put some soil in here. These are just potted plants, but um, you can get the idea. I think succulents would do great up there. Anyway, so there you go.